So the above data, it tells that the importance of the groundwater. So an operation, a center was established based at Sikindrabad, that is to create awareness and taking the initiative steps to improve the groundwater level, groundwater recharging. So that was done. So what does it tell us? What are the various methods to improve the groundwater level, to improve the recharge capacity? How can it be achieved? So based on um, the first thing is the farmers can form communities. They help each other. They can form certain uh, techniques, micro irrigation techniques, micro irrigation techniques help the farmers up to certain extent in uh, reducing the minimizing the uses of water that is the drip irrigation and the next one is sprinklers usage of sprinkler sprinklers will reduce the expenditure of the water will reduce the uses of the water so by that the water can be saved and the second most important one, the one which we are discussing that is to restore that to tap the rainwater is the dikes or barriers, building dikes or barriers, we call it a percolation tank, constructing some pits in which the rainwater is soaked. So making a barrier of uh, with a wall of uh, 30 centimeter thickness wall is constructed and in which charcoal, sand, such kind of loosely packed materials are filled up so by that the water can be easily percolated down which will allow the water to seep down which helps in recharge of the groundwater level. So by constructing this kind of barriers or dikes to tap the rainwater, it will recharge the groundwater and after a few days again the groundwater is recharged for the uses in the wells as well as in bore wells. So that can be achieved by a com common or collective effort of the farmers. They can form associations and do such kind of things. So where there is a scarcity of rainfall, less amount of rainfall, where the groundwater levels are depleted or gone down, they can be recharged again by doing these kind of activities and initiatives. So in the previous uh, topic we have seen that how the groundwater levels influence the income of the people living in the surroundings. So now let us look at the importance of the water and the distribution of the water. Then we will see some more case studies about that relation of the socio-economic factors with the natural resources uh, like water, availability of the water. So here we will see the available water. We have already uh, studied about this, the percentage of water, the distribution of water on this planet. So you have studied even in your social studies. So the total amount of the water present on this planet among the water 97% of the water is saline salt water. The water that is found in the oceans or salt water lakes or underground salt water. So everything it constitutes 97% that is the salt water which is not useful for agriculture and which is not useful for consumption and for other activities. So whereas if you look at the fresh water where you have 2.75, 2.5 to 2.75 percent of fresh water. So about this 2.5 to 2.75 percent of the fresh water you have various categories here. Among these 1.75 to 2 percent of the fresh water is in the form of glaciers by snow glaciers and snow in that ice mountains they are in the form of huge ice mountains so that is 1.75 to 2 percent of fresh water is in the form of glacier and snow whereas 0.7 percent to 0.8 percent so this is a very important part of the fresh water which we are discussing now is 0.7% to 0.8%. It is in the form of groundwater. So this plays a very important role, crucial role in the income, in the living status, social status of the people. 
see in our country in our state many of the places even though we have enough number of rivers for irrigation but ours is an agricultural land many of the places agriculture is the main occupation the rivers the network of the rivers cannot distribute the water cannot irrigate the water to each and every corner so many of the people are still dependent on the ground water for agricultural activities which is their main source of income so the income of the people is directly related to the resource water which water it is of course certain places are well irrigated by the rivers and canals but certain places the higher places to which the river water cannot be flowed or run such places they use the uh, bore wells or open wells they are dependent on the ground water which is 0.7 to 0.8% of ground water and soil moisture that constitutes 0.7 to 0.8% which is very very important so the next thing we see is that 0.01% this is found in the surface water surface water it is rivers lakes and swamps this is the surface water so now let us look at one more case study a village the conditions of the village then we will get better understanding about the relation of the resource water uh, the natural resource water and of our, and our living and our earnings